Equations can contain variables under radicands. These are called radical inequalities. Here we have an example of a radical inequality. It is rad x plus 3 minus 2 is less than or equal to 9. Let's try to solve this radical inequality. Remember that any number under a radical cannot be negative. So whatever our radical is, it has to be at least 0. So first we solve for the expression radical x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0 to see what our minimum x value is. Here we square both sides to get x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Then we subtract 3 to get x is greater than or equal to negative 3. So our minimum x value is negative 3. Now that, we know not, ah, now that we know that, we go back to our original equation and try to solve for x again. Here we add 2 to both sides to get rad x plus 3 is less than or equal to 11. Then we square both sides to get x plus 3 is less than or equal to 121. And then we subtract 3 to get x is less than or equal to 118. So our solution is x must be greater than negative 3 but, sorry, greater than or equal to negative 3, but less than or equal to 118. Let's try that out with a few values. Here we're going to test the values negative 10, negative 3, 118, and 120 to make sure that we found the right answer. First, we test the value negative 10. This already isn't a solution because that gives us the radical of negative 7, which doesn't work. Next, we test negative 3. This gives us rad 0 minus 2 is less than or equal to 9. So, negative 2 is less than or equal to 9. This is a valid solution, so negative 3 works as an x. Next, we try, one, we try 118. 118, radical 118 plus 3 minus 2 is less than or equal to 9. That is to say that rad 121 minus 2 is less than or equal to 9. This simplifies to 11 minus 2 is less than or equal to 9, or simply 9 is less than or equal to 9. This is true, so 118 is a valid solution to our equation. Now, let's try 120. This gives us rad 123 minus 2 is less than or equal to 9, or 11.09 minus 2 is less than or equal to 9, or simply 9.09 .09 is less than or equal to 9. This answer also does not work. Only, so values less than negative 3 don't work, and values greater than 118 do work. So we know that our original solution, x is greater than or equal to negative 3, and x is less than or equal to 118, is correct. Any values within that range will be a valid solution to our radical inequality.